assalamu alaikum friends welcome back to techweb youtube channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to remove moss ransomware from your computer so before starting the video i would like to explain the moss virus and it, this belongs to the new djvu family and it's encrypting your data with the online key encryption method and at this moment which is not possible to decrypt all the data as we don't have any official decryptor for that but we do have some of the alternate methods which you can use to decrypt some of the data but before de decrypting anything we need to remove the virus from the computer and we need to clean and we need to scan your computer before we can do any steps so let's get started and before I can start the video I would like to recommend you to subscribe my channel so that once we will get any more information regarding the ransomware and we are continuously dealing with those ransomware attacks and all the malware attacks uh, so we you will get the notification and you can get the help from there and also you can contact us through Facebook through Instagram or else if you want to uh, message me personally you can use whatsapp as well so now let's get started and what you need to do is first first of all uh, once you will get the ransomware attack so the attacker is lifting some IP addresses into your host file and you need to remove the IP addresses from the host file because if you are not uh, removing the IP addresses the attacker has already access on your computer and he can do everything whatever he wants so let's remove the IP addresses from the host file and how you do that you just need to click on start and put note PAID notepad and right click there and run it as an administrator click yes and here we go so after that you need to click on file and click open select the location here go on to the C drive select the windows and scroll down a bit and you will find the folder called system32 here we go click on there and then scroll down a bit and you will find one more folder called drivers click on there and after that you will find one more folder etc click on that and then you need to click on all files and you will find your host file so you just need to click there and after that this is the host file and these IP addresses are your IP addresses so you don't need to do anything on those IP addresses and I believe you will find bundle of IP addresses from there for example this is the IP address which you don't know and you will find lot of IP addresses you just need to right click there and then you need to delete them all and then you need to click on file and then save so this is the first step once you delete the IP addresses so you have get back the access from the attacker and you can uh, use the computer now uh, because you have removed all the IP addresses and once you will scan the computer you can use it normally but you uh, you have to decrypt the data so this is the first and the basic step which you need to follow and after doing that step what you can do is uh, you need to check your control panel so click I will put this shortcut appwiz.cpl and go into the control panel items and check the items here check the software which has been installed on your computer and make sure for example if uh, your computer was attacked on 15th or for example on 5th of October so you need to do one thing you need to check the software and you need to check if any software has installed on the same day which is unknown for you so you just need to right click and you need to uninstall that software so that and you will find the Yahoo search and some other search engines as well so you need to uninstall those softwares if you find any if you didn't find any then you need to leave that option and then you can move to the third part so these steps which I'm uh, talking about these all are for uh, to remove the virus and after that I will show you to some of the decrypting methods as well so the next step what you need which you need to follow is go to the task manager and go to the startup and you will find some of the browsers or some of the apps some of the softwares here so you need to disable them all and you don't need to enable all any of the software so that uh, your computer will running good and it will not be slow so this is the third step and after that you need to click on the processes and you will find a lot of chrome extensions chrome browsers here and you need to right click on all the chromes and after that you need to for example click there and you need to end task for all the google chrome tasks so this is the fourth step which you need to do and after that what you need to do is you need to right click there and 
put a sorry T E M P and delete all the cookies and then you need to delete all the cookies and all the temporary files so click delete and then press OK and after that what we need to do is we will go to the decrypting part and so what you first of all how you can do that you will check your restore point if your computer has a restore point uh, that means so for example if your computer was doing good on 4th of October and if you have the restore point you can uh, you can get back your computer to that stage and any uh, any uh, change which has been occurred after 4th of October your computer will forget the change and you will get your computer with the original data so how do you do that uh, you just need to click there and go on uh, put rstrui dot exe and click OK and it will take some time here we go and after that click next and then click show more restore points so here we go here are the restore points you have and if you find a lot of uh, uh, dates you can click on that date uh, which is before the attack so for example if your computer was attacked on 5th you need to check the dates if you find any date before 5th you need to right click you need to click on that and then you need to click next and then click finish so you will get the computer back on that stage and any changes which has been occurred so it will forget those changes and you will get your original data back so if you are not finding any of the dates there so you can use one more software called a shadow explorer and once you will download that and uh, it will show you I will check it out so you need to go on to the main website and you can just google it download shadow explorer and you can download that and once you will download that the main interface and after that the shortcut icon will come onto your computer screen and you just need to click there and it will take some time to open okay so now it's running and here we go so here you will find the drives there C D E and you will find the dates there so for example so same is uh, it's same like restore point and uh, you can just select any date and then if you need for example this folder was important for you you can just right click on the folder and click export and then you can select the destination folder where you want to save the folder and you will get the data back so it's only uh, if you have the luck if you have uh, make any restore point so it will work for you so if you haven't made any restore point on your computer so it's not gonna work and uh, we will move to the third part so the next one is photo rack you need to click on you need just google photo rack and click ok and click on photo rack sec cd security and then you need to download the software from there and then you need to click on test disk 7.2 and click there and here we go so it's just downloading and it will take some time to download so now it has pinched and I will open it here we go so now what we can do is I will right click there and I will cut it from the location I will make a one more folder called called M O S S and then I will paste it there and after pasting that I I need to extract that I will click extract here and you will find one more folder and click on that folder under that folder you will find photo rack slash v sorry underscore win and click on that and click yes and it will take some time to open and here we go so it's just opening now yes so now it's running and what you need to do is you need to select the whole drive here and after that what you need to do is you need to click on file formats and for example uh, if you need to recover the photos you, you just uh, put jpg click yes and then if you need png click yes and click ok and after that you need to select the destination part where you want to save I, I want to save one folder called 63 select the folder and then you need to click on search so it will take some time to search the items and if it finds any so you will get the photos back here we go so I'm getting some of the photos so you can use the same way to 
recover some of the files as I told you earlier that there is no decryptor for this online ransomware at the moment and I'm requesting you to subscribe my channel so that uh, we will upload the video soon and you will get a benefit of from that as well so these were the steps and most one uh, most one thing is you need to scan the computer which I forget to ask and I will put the link in the description for node 32 antivirus this is the strongest I uh, antivirus which you can use and uh, so you can scan the computer and you can remove all the malware from the computer and one more thing if you are using windows 10 i'm suggesting you to this is the there are there is one option for ransomware ransomware protection so here we go so keep it uh, turn it on all always to protect your computer and don't click on the unverified links don't download the softwares from un, uh, unknown links and unknown websites and don't click on the attached email so these are the these are all the factors these are all the reasons your computer could get ransomware attack so this was the video for today and hopefully it will help you and we will get back to you very soon with the new video for this ransomware till then khuda hafiz